Welcome to Keisha's Heat Illness Considerations and Prevention Strategies video. I'm Erin Washington. Wayne Harmon. Jamie Blackham. Cooper Sachs. We are athletic trainers in Kansas here to show you how to prepare your site for heat illness and respond accordingly. Anytime ambient air temperature is 80 degrees or above, a rapid cooling area should be established and available. Rapid cooling equipment consists of the shade. You've got cooler of water, ice ready to go. You have wet bulb globe thermometer, your technique of immersion or method of cooling nearby, ready to go, and rectal thermometer used by trained medical professionals only. It's important to follow your emergency action plan that has been implemented as well as be in communication with local EMS for local procedures. If no emergency action plan is established, a sample template's available on page one of the Keisha Exertional Heat Illness Recognition and Management document. Coaches, staff, athletes, and parents should be aware of signs and symptoms of exertional heat illness. These can be reviewed on page 10 of the Keisha Exertional Heat Illness Recognition and Management document. When it comes to the management of heat-related il illnesses, remove athlete from play immediately, remove any excess clothing or equipment. If they are alert, water or sports drink slowly. If exertional heat stress is suspected, this is a life-threatening condition. Call 911 to activate your emergency medical systems as soon as possible. Remember the phrase, cool first, transport second. Make sure to rehearse and review your emergency action plan with coaches and local emergency personnel before each school year. Exercise heat indications for a possible heat stroke victim or somebody moving from heat exhaustion into heat stroke. Please know what your county's EMS transport protocols are so that you are cooling before you transport. That's kind of a national standard now. So what we want to do is we want to have a tub in the shade. We want to have the water around 50 degrees. We want to have it uh, half full with water at that point. Then when we have an individual who's showing signs of ex uh, exertional heat or exertional stroke, which could be fainting, which could be lack of sweating, which could be ultimate confusion, could be other issues involved with that. We want to make sure that we get them immersed as soon as we can. So the demonstration is going to show three people immersing this young man. <laughs> Trying to. <laughs> put your arms in. Hold on. Go ahead and put your arms in. There you go. So we want to try to have at least three bodies on this. We want to put one at the head, making sure that the individual doesn't pass out and go underwater. We want to have another person adding ice, adding ice to it. And then we want to make sure somebody is circulating the water so that they get circulation and not stagnant water around. Stagnant water around the body will start to warm up, so we don't want that. So we want some agitation for the water. We're going to leave them in this for 20 minutes. Hopefully by that point we'll have emergency medical services come in. We will hopefully have a data therm brought in by the emergency medical uh, personnel, which will be a rectal thermometer. Rectal thermometer is the uh, gold standard for finding out what the core temperature is of an individual. We're gonna go for 20 minutes, like I said, then we're gonna transport them. We always wanna make sure we pay attention to whether they are conscious. If you can, have somebody who can take a pulse and find out and make sure they're still engaged and conversive. The individual needs to be continuously supported upright and monitored for altered levels of consciousness. Never leave the person unattended and be ready to perform CPR if needed. Have your AED nearby, ready to go. If a medical professional is on site, the individual's core body should be obtained by using a rectal thermometer. This type of measurement is recommended by medical experts as the most effective method to determine if the individual is suffering from exertional heat stress. Thank you for taking the time to watch our videos and we hope you found them helpful.